Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Now, this is the Haley BMW E30. This is a crazy, crazy car from the Formula Drift car pack. It's got a wild engine setup, wild suspension setup, um, crazy supercharged V8. I have never driven this car before. I literally, all I did was... Pull it out of my house, which is right over here. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll know what house that is. And I've just pulled it out of the house, and I am going to take it for a test run. I'm going to take it for a drift run, and we're going to see what this thing is like compared to the other Formula Drift cars that I've driven so far. So, without any further ado, let's see what this thing will do. Well, okay. Doesn't do that. <laughs> Not that much pressure on the... Don't do that much pressure when you, uh, when you do a brake stand. Okay. Or at least let it build revs first. Wonder if this one has the four speed or the six speed. Judging by the speed we're going in third, it probably has the four speed. But we will find out, oh God, shortly. Yep, it's got the four speed. It's okay, it keeps things basic. Oh yeah, this thing works really well. It's, oh, there was a little bit of a jump. <laughs> it's actually really easy to maneuver this car. It's, it's, it's got a lot of low end torque, a lot of low end torque and a lot of low end punch. More so than some of the other cars actually. This thing, this thing does really, really well. It almost like, from almost any RPM, like, I could probably be doing just as well in fourth. In fact, I'm going to try that real quick. You have to, okay, you have to work at it a little bit, but you're still, oh god. You have to work at it a little bit, but you're definitely, you can keep it going. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, oh that was so close. Oh, dude, you know where we are? Oh, my God. We could hit the mountain pass. Dude, that would be so awesome. Be so perfect. Be the best way to test this car. This car feels very light. I mean, even though it's got that big, heavy engine up front, it definitely feels very light. It feels light on its feet, too, which is, a, like, a really, really good thing to, to, to feel out of a drift car. I mean, to be honest, like, some of the other drift cars, they don't all feel heavy, but they, they all have a certain, you know, individual balance to them. This one, you definitely feel the fact that it's got that shorter wheelbase, but at the same time, hello. I'll start going for my combo at some point, but I mean, it's funny, judging by some of the comments, judging by some of the comments, you would think a lot of people don't like to uh, to see the, um, the big combos for whatever reason. They're like, eh, they're a little iffy on big combos. Big combos, sometimes they just bother people. And it's like, that's, I think, you know, some people make the mistake of like, they think that's why I drift. Like I only drift for points. And that's not the case. I drift, I drift for, for the fun of it, to be honest. I drift for the fun of it. And I drift like, just because it's enjoyable. The points are just kind of like a byproduct. They're almost like a mini game to me of like how far you can go without hitting anything. You know what I mean? You can still hit the lines you want to hit. Even if you're, even if you're not hitting anything and trying to keep your points. So let's go ahead and oop. Let's try and stick with this combo and keep it going. Just let the car flow nicely back and whoa, back and forth. Easy. This thing's very happy in third. In fact, it's 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 so happy in third that it's it's actually it's super easy. I mean, it's like you never have to uh you never have to be concerned about anything along the lines of like, oh, is it going to, you know, is it going to just bang off the rev limiter and I get, am I going to run out of gearing? You never really run into that because it's got like a perfect balance of grip versus slip in third gear at most speeds. Like anything between like 40 and 90 miles an hour, which is like this huge range. Maybe not 90, but definitely 80. Well, actually, I take that back. We're almost at 90 miles an hour right now and it feels fine. Like, I haven't felt any need to shift up to fourth yet, although my angle was a little shallow, so we'll see how we do going over the mountain. And this car is very, like, it's got a very raw, like, violent feel to it, which is a good thing. 
A little bit of handbrake going up the hill. Follow it through. There we go. That went well. Be easy. Oh, God. Come on. There we go. Push. Come on. Keep it up. Then line back to the inside. There we go. Just keep following it. Uh, I kind of had to pull out of that drift. Back it in. Honestly, I probably should have left it in third there. I genuinely, genuinely should have left it in third. Just going to kind of work with it right here. Try and avoid traffic because there, there are blind hills. And the blind hills, when there's traffic involved, can get you into a, into a sketchy situation really quick. It's a very easy car to whip around, though. It's extremely easy, actually, to whip around. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh. And easy. Easy. There it is. Oh, wow. Kept it. Okay. It's actually moderately concerned about going off on that one. Back to one side, then back the other way. Easy, easy, easy. There we go. Like, even when you really focus in on, like, you know, you're driving and you really try to, like, place this car where you want it, it's very, very placeable. Like, it's super easy to put this thing right where you want it to be. And you can, like, no matter whether you just power, like, power drift it or, like, ride through the e-brake or whatever it is you want to do, like, however you want to do it, it really just responds so well. There's fourth, and you can see fourth, it's a little bit easier to maintain angle, but in order to keep that wheel spin and the wheel speed, you really, really, really have to work at it. Like, you really, you, there's a lot of clutch kicking and e-braking involved. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go right. I was like, eh, I didn't feel, I didn't feel wonderful about that, uh, about that transition to the left. I have also no idea where this route goes. I'm way off of my normal drift route, so... Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing remains to be seen, depending on how long we carry on this combo. And I think that's the thing, too, is like with the game still being as new as it is, I'm still looking for new drift routes to do. You know what I'm saying? So that's another big, uh, that's another big thing for me is like I want to kind of mix up the areas of where I drift the cars. Whoop! There it goes, going for a little bit more angle than I did before. Some of the angles that you can recover these cars from are just wild. Just absolutely wild. All right. And back one way. Oh, my God. Little bit of a whip on the back bumper. That's okay. Come on. Oh, I do not want to lose that combo. There it is. Oh, this is the road from the demo, where it would have switched right about here, out of the Senna into the into the trophy truck. See, that's where fourth gear is happy, is like high-speed e-brake entries. That's what fourth gear likes. Like, if you do high-speed e-brake entries in fourth gear, fourth gear will take you wherever you want to go. Like, it will, it will work with you. It will take you wherever wherever you want to go it will just go too and in third you could just stay flat easy there's a score killer right there a combo killer <laughs> see a good looking road up ahead oh yeah that'd be a fun one I think what I'm going to do is actually get the combo to like 100,000, so we'll end up with a times five combo. We'll end up with like 500,000 points, so it's not going to be any like, you know, sort of like million point combo or anything like that. But, but after that, we are going to go and take on a drift zone real quick because there is a specific drift zone that's a lot of fun that I messed around with in my 350Z, my Rocket Bunny 350Z, and that ended up being like really, really fun. And uh, I ended up doing 
really well at it. So we're going to go ahead and head back there and see if we can beat our personal best using this car. All right, so there's just over 100,000, so we'll get that combo done. Oh, Edinburgh that way. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get that combo banked. And once we've done that, which I'm sure we'll get a couple of skill points. Let's see, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not bad, okay. I'm okay with that. So let's see what we can put on our car because of that now. Let's see. All right, car mastery. Let's see, 36 points available. All righty then, I'm good with that. We'll do that. Oh, we can get the, um, after the wheel spin, we can get the perk that allows you to actually like have a proper impact and then keep your combo going. That's such a crazy thing. Like I can't even believe they let you do that. And we have a couple more spins remaining too, which like we might as well do while we're here. Oh, God. Sunrise leggings. Let's go. <laughs> What's up next? Uh, let's see. Pink buckles. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is what it is. All right. So, extra life. Cost 25. Let's go. There we go. Dude. Now takes two proper collisions to break. That's crazy. All right, we'll do the wombo combo as well. And then I think we'll probably finish off with Drift Destroyer. That's fine. Because that will give us, that'll basically reset our points back to zero. Holy sloppy. You have arrived at your destination. Wow, holy sloppy. My personal best is like 54,298 points, which is a lot higher than what I just scored. I'm going to try it a couple more times, and if we don't beat it, like, if we don't beat it in this video, that's, like, that's not really the biggest deal because, like, that's, like, th the point of this video was to show you guys what this car was like to drive. Oh, man, got close. 49. That was a lot better. That was a lot better. Only like 5,000 more points. We would have been right on our personal best. Let's try one more time because I bet you, I bet you if we hit it, like if we hit the zone properly, we might actually have a shot at that. Come on, stay focused. Stay focused. You have arrived. Oh, 54. Four. No way. Dude. Oh, my God. Okay. Sweet. 54, 413. That actually went really, really well. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm quite pleased with that. Okay. I didn't know whether or not we were going to be able to make that, but we did. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you all in the next one. Talk to you guys later.